Hello everybody, I am Joshua and welcome to this Sims 3 house building video. Now I'm so sorry it's been such a long time since the last one, it's been almost a month and um, that has been due to me being very very busy. But here is another house building video for you all and today I am building a house called Paradise Getaway because it is um, quite a nice house that you'd want to get away to, um, if you know what I mean. So this is the house here starting out and this is quite a difficult build for me um, because I had no idea what I wanted to do and I ended up redoing the house so many times, it's quite ridiculous, um, which is why it took such a long time to build. Um, I started this build about a month ago um, and since then I've, in between um, me starting this and this I've done quite a lot of other builds so you know it's been taking quite a lot of time so that's why um, it's been quite a while. Um, for me to make this house building video and also because I had so much trouble with the house itself. So um, yeah, I go through a bunch of different styles with this. I start off modern, not modern, sorry, I end up modern. I start off with kind of like a classic islandy style and then I end up modern. So you know, it is it is quite a lot of change goes through this house. Um, I do a um, bunch of different stuff to it and it, it does take quite a while. So that's why this is a two-part house building video. I want to make that very clear. This is two parts. This is not the whole video. This is part one, and it's only building, and part two is all furnishing. So if you like furnishing, check out part two. Um, if you like building, you can check out this part. And if you like them both, please watch both. Um, you know, um, the more you watch, the better. So um, anyway, you can see here I've raised up the land underneath the house. Um, so it's a bit of an island underneath it, even though most of it is in the water. And it's kind of in between two larger islands. Um, and it's a very interesting um, thing. Now you can see here I'm just adding in some terrain paint, some rock, and some sand. And you can see at this point the house is very islandy styled and it takes me quite a while to realize I don't like it. Um, and so I do build quite a lot on it as it is. But then eventually I change it to modern, which doesn't take that long to actually build the modern version of this house. But, um, you know, I do um, take a long time. So that's why this is quite a while. So this is like the length of a normal house building video, this is the building. You know, so um, yeah. Anyway, I'm putting in some railings here, which um, is very thrilling, I'm sure. Um, but um, yeah, they all get removed. They're all replaced with half walls in the final house. Um, but as of now, it's more of the classical style, like I said many times before. So that's why um, I have the railings and columns as such. But um, you know, um, so this house is very interesting. It's in a bunch of different pieces um, of foundation. Um, and there's hot bits that are higher up and parts that are lower down. Um, but I think everything is in one house. Like you can, you don't have to go outside for anything except for the study. I think the study is the only building, which is the two-story building on the left right now, which ends up being one story. Um, but you know, so the study ends up being a separate part of the house that you have to actually go outside to get to. But everything else is all connected. Um, anyway, as you can see here, I'm raising up the ground, um, and now I'm building a little platform on top. This is kind of just like a little extra thing, because I thought it was interesting. So when I'm talking about different levels, stuff being lower and parts being higher, this is what I'm talking about. Um, and it makes it very interesting. Um, so I was quite pleased with the way it turned out. Um, it's definitely like nothing you've ever seen before, which makes me quite happy, um, because the original house was very generic looking, um, if you know what I mean, like the kind of islandy style. So I went for the modern look, um, which is later in this video, and then it started looking more unique, and especially because of the different levels of the house, the way that some parts are higher and lower, and especially the constrained floor elevation part of it, which you'll see is very, very, very unique. Um, it's like nothing else I've ever seen, so I can't wait for you to see that. Anyway, what I'm doing right now is messing around with these stairs here. Um, and to take a long time with this because um, it takes me a while to realize it's impossible to do what I'm trying to do. What I'm trying to do is put stairs from this higher level to this lower level, but they're both the same level, technically, um, so it's technically impossible to do. But it didn't stop me from trying for a very long amount of time. Um, and this is sped up seven times, remember, so um, I spent quite a while on this and I never got anywhere, so I gave up eventually, um, which um, you'll see in a few minutes. But um, here I'm trying to mess around with it and it just was not working as you can see um, but yes so this house ends up being very large hence the reason it's again two parts because not only did I have trouble deciding how to make it look but I also had to furnish such a huge house um, so you know that extended the length of the video but it is a large house it's five bedrooms um, and it also has a um, really nice living room actually and a lot of stunning views this, the, the views from this house like when you go into free camera mode and I was taking the panning shots for the end of part two 
Um, it was amazing. It was really an amazing. The views from this house are stunning. Um, and yeah, so here I'm just putting in some railings and stuff onto the higher um, platform there, if you will. And also I'm going to put a kind of a bridge. Here you go. Here comes the bridge. Beautiful timing. Um, there'll also be stairs going from the higher bit to the lower bit, which does actually work for some reason, even though it is technically the same level again. Look, I don't know. The other bit didn't work. Whatever. Um, this looks really cool. Um, it's kind of like a bridge so boats can kind of go underneath it and kind of park inside which I thought was very cool. So you can see here those stairs kind of come down, and I believe it's all usable, so, you know, that's really neat. Um, anyway, raising the terrain out underneath this part because, you know, I thought it'd be nicer to have that. Um, also putting in a bunch of palm trees. Now, the landscaping on this lot is very lush, very lush. Um, so if you have a lower-end computer and you download this house, it will take a very long time to load into the lot. So keep that in mind. Um, it, it does take a long time to load into the lot. Um, and it was quite agonizing when I was building this, and every time I had to save, I had to wait forever for it to go out of the lot and then to go back into the lot. You know, so there's a lot of stuff going on, especially with the rocks, which you'll see when I get into more in-depth into the landscaping. You'll see the rocks. Um, anyway, I'm putting in this little area here so you can come on easier, get easier onto these jet skis, um, which I later removed, and what actually goes in this spot is the front steps, um, in fact. Uh, so, you know, that's quite an interesting change that goes on. But, um, you know, just putting in these boats here, uh, nothing too exciting. The final house has a lot less boats in it than it did in the beginning, so that's quite interesting. Um, anyway, just putting in the boats and stuff like that, and yeah. So, I believe I'm going to start on, oh, I'm starting on the island in the back, which is quite exciting. So this is a small island in the back of the house, um, which is um, kind of very wooded. Um, not wooded, I guess you wouldn't say wooded, but it's full of palm trees and stuff. Um, and this again is helps make the lot very slow to load. Um, yeah, so it looks really cool though. I put like a little pathway into it and like a little lookout tower on it. It's only a tower though, lookout room. And also here come in the rocks. And now these really slow performance. Um, there's like three of these areas with full of rocks. Um, I also put some plants and fountains in it though, so it looks really nice, but it does um, cause some performance issues. Anyway, um, I'm coming in here and starting with the um, wallpaper which I originally do orange siding and then I change it to blue siding and then I change it to light green stucco and then I change it to dark green stucco. Um, now the reason the final house is dark green stucco is because it looks really nice and kind of blends in with the nature um, with all the palm trees and stuff that go around it and the lush landscaping which I talked about earlier. So it all goes together really nicely and I'm really happy with the way that it turns out. But at this point I just was not feeling it and I'm trying to make the house more interesting, make it look less like a giant box on stilts. Um, and this is an issue a lot of people have, is the box stuff, like building a house that looks boxy. Um, and I do have a tip for this, actually, which is um, exciting. Now, the tip is to not make your house look boxy, is don't start with a box. So like, this is actually what I did here, um, but it's not what I do when I redo the house for modernness, if you will. Um, you know, a lot of people start with a box, and they start adding bits to it, but the base of the house is still a box. I think it's better to start with an irregular shape that's very unique, and then refine it and kind of remove funky bits from it. And then it starts looking more like a unique shape because you started with that instead of starting with a box. So that's what I think anyway, but, you know, whatever suits you. Um, so here I'm kind of adding, trying to add a bit more shape to it, but it still looks very much like a box. Um, and, of course, the modern house looks quite a lot nicer than this does. Um, yeah. The modern house turns out so unique. I think I said this before, but it just turns out so unique. It's incredible. Um, yeah, I'm putting in a bit of a roof here. Um, this is for a balcony, which gets removed later on. Um, the final house does have a lot of balconies, but um, not a lot, not many of them are actually real. Um, they, like, they don't have doors to them, but a few of them are. So you know, like the master bedroom has one, and I believe um, I think all the bedrooms do, except for one actually. So it's not too bad. Um, also, the game is lagging out horrendously as I try to fix this terrain here because it has to move all the plants. But, um, um, yeah, here I'm just adding a little bit of nice terrain paint and stuff. Very nice, of course. Um, a little bit of dirt touch-up. Not dirt, what am I talking about? Stone touch-up, I'm sorry. Um, and also kind of um, raising the terrain here under this part of the house. Um, yeah, so progressively, as I move along, I raise up the terrain. So it kind of progresses from very, um, almost all water and it ends up being um, a lot of terrain underneath the house, so it kind of looks like the house on like a little island, which is nice. And also later on, I think in part two, I add in some trees and foliage on the islands that are on either side of this house, and also add in some more islands. So it looks really nice when I do the panning shots at the end of part two, so that looks really nice. And um, 
yeah, so anyway, I'm changing the pillars here, which I don't stay that way. Um, they end up being the same green stucco that the house will be. And then they look really nice because they kind of blend in with the tr the plants and stuff, and it looks really nice. Um, what am I doing here? I'm ending another um, dock out so you can have more boats, of course, because you can never have enough boats when you're on an island. as It's the only way to get to the house, so, you know, it's quite important, of course. Um, so you can see a couple boats, and um, you know, nice, nice and easy. Plenty of places to park your boats. I believe the final house has three boats on it, so you know, you know, plenty of boats. Yeah, it's always good. Um, what am I doing here? Um, looking around, apparently. Oh, I'm adding a little extension here um, for a diving board and a pool um, ladder. Now the reason I did this is kind of it's like you can Sims can dive off the diving board and climb back up the pool ladder. So they can kind of use the ocean like a giant pool. Um, that was my idea anyway. I don't know how well it works out. I mean, obviously they're not usable in gameplay, but they look kind of nice. Um, anyway, I'm changing the color of the house here to a dark blue, which, um, as I've said many times, does not stay. Um, but it definitely was an improvement over the orange. But at this point, the house was just starting to look very generic. Um, and that's where the modern, when I change it to modern, it's where it really comes in and just looks very unique. Um, and it's just absolutely stunning. Um, so here I am just changing out all the colors and making them all blue. So the original house was blue and gray. Well, the original house was orange. Then I changed it to blue and gray. Then I changed it to light green. Then I changed it to dark green. So it's all the colors are all over the place. Um, yeah, so um, what am I doing here? Just fixing up the rest of the orange bit and making sure that it's all um, blue. And also I added some gray as well, um, just, I guess, to mix it up a bit. I don't know. Yeah, but it just looks so generic, um, especially the colors were like blah. So I ended up um, mixing it up a bit, which it turns out so nice. If I've probably said that so many times that um, you want to plug up your ears. But um, yeah, so I'm just adding in some more um, siding and um, what am I doing here? The front door. Yes, the front door is exciting. And more generic looking windows. Oh, that's great. Yeah, so all the generic looking windows are coming in here. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know why I thought this looked good. Um, you know, but I think I took a break from it and then came back and realized, what am I doing? This looks atrocious. Yeah, well, it's not atrocious, it's just bland um, and kind of generic looking. So that's why I ended up changing it. So, you know, it, it turns out very nicely in the end. i um, adding in some more windows here. Um, again, very generic looking windows, which would maybe suit a different house better than this one. Oh, and here I'm adding a little lookout tower, which I've discussed earlier, um, which is really neat. Um, I really like the way this turns out, actually. Um, of course, the final one is a modern version of it, but, you know, it turns out really nicely. It looks, I'm just looking at the view there, I guess. I don't know. Um, and, yes, so what am I doing here? I'm going to be um, adding the walkway to the little lookout tower, which kind of goes through this um, foliage-covered island, and it turns out really nicely, actually. I'm really happy with the way this turns out. It's kind of like a neat little um, hideaway for your sims to go explore or something. It's not noticeable when you first come into the lot, like, it's not really the first thing that draws your eye. I guess it depends which side of the lot you come into. Um, but, you know, it's kind of hidden in the back, and it's a really nice little touch. I thought it was really neat. And yeah, so I'm just putting in the stairs here so you can actually get to it. Um, and I believe it's all usable. Um, not that I tried it out, but I'd like to say that it's all usable, so. It's all usable. Um, and yeah, so the wood does not stay, it's just so I can have flat land. And, um, yeah, it turns out so nicely. So it's really nice. I love the landscaping on this island. Um, if you see the blue there, um, instead of like where there should be grass, that's because there was a glitch. For some reason, every time I added the terrain paint, it kind of like put blue edges around it, which is really annoying. You can see there, like the erase tool just made it all bright blue, because technically this lot was all from underwater and I just raised it up. So, you know, it caused a bit of issues, but whatever. Yeah, so there's a little pathway and little um, stairs that lead up to that little lookout tower, which I thought was so nice. You know, really cool. Um, and yes, so... Um, adding in some more railings and stuff, fixing it up, and stuff like that. So, oh, it was a column in the water. I think I removed it, though. Um, what am I doing here? So, oh, I'm just going to attach up the um, walkway, and you can see it better there from a top-down view. And, um, yeah, so, what am I going to do here? I'm going to add in a little bit of an extension. Um, yeah, so, one thing I want to discuss, and that is The Sims 4, because, um, of course, that is, like, the main thing to talk about now in the simming community, at least. And what I want to say is, this is not my last Sims 3 house building video. Um, I will continue Sims 3 house building videos even after The Sims 4 comes out. Um, they'll just probably go alongside Sims 4 house building videos. Because I have some house building videos for The Sims 3 that I've been working on that won't be finished before The Sims 4, but I still want to be on YouTube. So, um, yeah, those will definitely be coming out. Um, so don't worry, this is not my last Sims 3 house building video. 
And I know a lot of other YouTubers are like, oh, this is my last Sims 3 house building video ever. It's like such a big occasion. No. I don't think, I don't even know if I'll ever stop doing Sims 3 house building videos. Well, eventually I will. But I mean, even, like, maybe, like, for the next years or so, I might still continue them. Because The Sims 3 is so much more advanced in building tools. Like, well, I guess it's not more advanced, but it has a lot more options when it comes to building tools than The Sims 4 does, at least at this time. Um, so I definitely want to continue doing Sims 3 house building videos. Anyway, I finally had a change in heart, and I'm finally got some sense knocked into my brain, and I'm working on redoing the house here. So, um, I originally was going to redo it to a kind of even more islandy type thing, and I came up with the most stunning thing, which I removed because it did not suit the house, but I will have to use it somewhere else. Maybe my next house building video, who knows. Um, yeah, so I end up putting in these railings, which you'll see, and I put some columns and then some curtains on it, and it just looks so cool. Um, I'm sure it's been done before, but it looks really nice, and it's something new I've never tried before, I don't think. Um, so you can see there's the railings, there's the columns, and here come the curtains, and it turns out really nicely. Yeah, you can see there, I used to put those curtains in from Master Suite stuff, I believe, and I think that looks really nice. Um, of course, I'm not going to use it here, because the house ends up being modern, but I thought it was really neat. Um, so yeah, that's what I ended up doing. Know what? Maybe I'll put that on my Let's Build house. Uh, maybe I'll redo the back balcony. Um, if you haven't watched that, you should check out my Let's Build a House series. Um, I just did my first live stream of it, which was um, quite a success after the rocky beginning. Um, um, if you watched it, you'll know what I mean. So, you know, um, you should definitely check that out, and I might actually be using those curtains and columns technique on that. Um, that might work, um, but anyway, that's besides the point. Um, here I am messing around and making a general mess of things, of course, and um, eventually I actually start writing things. So you can see here I'm putting this giant frieze across the roof and I just put a giant balcony as well. And to be honest, I don't know what I'm doing here because it looks atrocious and I end up, I put a tower in as well. Um, I missed that, but there's a tower there. And oh, I don't know what I was now. Here comes the roof, yep, okay. Look, looking stunning, um, it's not, it's not looking stunning. Yeah, oh, there's the tower, just getting taller and I put a funky roof on it, I believe. Yeah, look at that thing, oh geez. Yeah, so, you know, no no thatched roofs in the final house. You probably know what the final house looks like by now, because the thumbnail, and also it's available on my website. There's some screenshots on my website of it. Um, the download link um, is in the description below. It will link you to the house's page on my website, where you can download it from the exchange or through Mediafire. So, plenty of choices there. And, oh, look, here we go. I'm actually um, starting with the modern look. So, here we go. Um, putting in some walls here um, and making the house look more modern. So with the modern house, it's really cool what I do with the constraint flow elevation, which you'll see here. So I'm putting in the walls. Um, and it just turns out pretty amazing, if I do say so myself. I'm removing all the columns and stuff, um, and ooh, quite a lot of spinning of the camera. Um, yeah, so this is going to be a little bit of a walkway here that leads to the um, master suite, which is always nice to have. You know, it's nice to have a little walkway that leads there um, and stuff like that. So that's going to be the master bedroom and bathroom, what I just built here. Um, and that's going to be the kitchen, the dining room, sorry. Um, and the kitchen will be next to the dining room, of course, if that makes sense. Um, um, also the second level here, I'm just demolishing all that old stuff. And this is going to be the freeze level, I believe. And this is where things are very interesting. Um, and I don't remember what I was thinking and what gave me this idea, but it's something I've never seen before. Um, it might have been done before, but it's something I've never seen before and maybe something you've never seen before, is the way I use the constraint elevation to kind of make um, posts that kind of go, that here you go, kind of like posts that go in between the levels. I don't know, it's hard to explain, but you'll see it. Um, I don't use as many as I'm putting in now. Um, I get rid of some of them, but it looks really cool. Um, it's definitely very unique, as you can see. It's all going to be leveled out and be a freeze level. Um, and you can see I just add all these little protruding bits, which it looks quite weird at this moment, but trust me, it gets better. Um, Yes, you can see here I'm flattening it all down. I'm going to get rid of all the thatched roofs. There they all go, thank God. Um, and you can see here I'm putting in um, some flooring and the second level of the house. So it ends up um, being very interesting indeed. So you can see here uh, um, all the little bits that stick out everywhere. And there's a the second level coming in. Um, and yeah, it's just very unique, I feel. Um, and it looks really cool when I'm done as well. So it's not like hideous unique. It's a very cool unique. Um, so yeah, so I'm just kind of going to make it a little bit more clean. I'm going to get rid of some of them just so it, it's a bit cleaner <laughs> because it was a little bit crazy. Yeah, so here we go. Um, yeah, so it just looks so cool. Um, I probably have said that so many times, but it looks really cool. Um, and I think this is very, this is probably one of my best houses I've done a house building video of. 
Um, so it's just it's just really nice. I'm really happy with the way it turns out. Um, adding in some columns, um, kind of that come down. I don't know if I keep these. I feel like I do, because um, they look really cool. I think I keep. Yeah, I think I keep them. I think I keep most of them anyway. Um, not those, but the ones on the corners I do. Yeah, so that looks really cool. I, I feel it does. It's very unique. Um, cause like bits coming out everywhere, and it's very modern and very different. And I thought it was really cool. You know, um, hopefully you agree. Um, hopefully you like it, of course. Um, so yeah, so I'm just adding in the top freeze level here. And, um, this is the final shape of the house, which is exciting because it took me forever to get here. Um, yeah, it's already been, how long has it been? It's been like 20 minutes into the video, and I've only just started building the final house. Um, so it's quite unfortunate, but it's okay. Um, that's again why it's in two parts. Um, so you can see here I'm putting in the balcony here, and um, that's one of the balconies, and another one is another one all over the place. Balconies all over the place. A lot of them are fake, though, like I've said. Um, and yeah, so it looks really cool. I'm really, I'm just so pleased with the way this turned out. Um, also, adding in some bits that come down from the second level. Um, so you can see it looks very interesting. Nothing, nothing like anything else. Um, that made no sense. It looks nothing like anything. It looks doesn't look anything like anything else. Oh my gosh. Well, <laughs> I think that's the correct way to say it, but it just sounds weird. Um, it doesn't look like anything else. There you go. That's the best way to say it. Um, anyway, while I was messing around with my words, I've actually done the roof. Um, and I put some plants on the roof as well, of course. So it kind of, kind of has the plants, like, they're around the house and they're on top of the house. And the house is kind of green, so it's like embracing plants. It's like a plant itself, if you will. Though it's not really, um, but you, you know that was an interesting analogy. Um, yeah, here we go. Just um, finishing off some of the balconies here with some half walls, and of course you can see the half walls replaced all those little fiddly, spindly stuff. Um, you can see that um, on the on the on the left side, um, which is gone now. But still, the part with the thatched roof again that gets changed as well. Don't worry. Um, I don't leave that horrifying thing there. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm just working on this roof here. This is a separate little building at this point in time, as you can see. But I end up making it kind of like an open um, area. So I have a di outdoor dining table under there. It's not enclosed. It's just like a roof over it, which I think is really good. So yeah, um, this is the master bedroom roof I'm doing right here. Um, and this is that little area that's raised up again. Um, and I'm putting a flat roof on that as well. So everything is a flat roof. And oh, here we go. I'm finally um, changing out this thing, which ends up just being a one level study. Um, just one floor tall. That's it. Um, and you can see here. Um, I'm doing it now, and it will end up being one floor. I will shorten it later. Um, but of course, I'm making, giving it a nice, more modernized look, which is important um, because it is a modern house. So, you know, I think that's quite an important thing. Um, but yes, so just removing all the little um, fiddly things and replacing them with proper half walls, which, you know, I mean, of course, the little normal railings look good on certain houses, but not, not a modern house, so they had to be removed. Um, yeah, so I'm just replacing it all with half walls. I end up enclosing this, there we go, I end up enclosing that area in. And it becomes a really nice outdoor area, which is really neat. Um, you can see here I'm just replacing everything with half walls and stuff like that. And, um, yeah, so removing all the siding, finally. And you can see here, the house is definitely taking some shape now. And it's much, much more interesting and unique than it was before. So I start off with blue, I believe? Oh no, yeah, I start with blue apparently, but I change it because it's just dark and depressing. I don't know what I was doing. Um, I change it to light green, and then I change it to dark green, which you think is dark uh, dark and depressing, but it's not. It's not. It's not a, like a really dark green. It's just a dark, it's just like a truish green-ish. I don't know. It looks really nice, though, and you've probably seen the thumbnail. I don't know if you can see it in the thumbnail of the video, but um, if you did, then you'd know how it turns out. Um, and also putting in a lot of wood. This house is just like wood everywhere. Um, on the inside and the outside, I think almost every room has like a wood accent wall in it. Just because, why not? You know, it makes it more naturey, um, if that's even a word. It makes it look more natural, um, I'll say it properly. So you can see there's wood accents all over the place. And all the little bits that stick out underneath um, in the freeze level that I was doing earlier um, will all be wood as well. Um, so, you know, the wood ends up being a really nice accent to the house. Um, which is all stucco. So it's just stucco and wood, um, you know, and the roof is plants. So it's a very natural looking house and it kind of blends in beautifully into its surroundings, which is really nice. So um, here I'm just putting in some more stucco and stuff like that, um, wood, making sure it all is touched up and nice. Um, and yeah, it just looks really nice. Um, I will change the blue at some point. Um, I think at the end of this part, I will be the final color. Um, so, you know, keep an eye out for that. Um, here we only have like, how long do we have to go? We have like, like 10 minutes to go on this video, which is exciting. Um, 
Yeah, so I'm just um, applying the um, stucco um, around the place, and I will be changing the color soon enough, hopefully. Um, yeah, changing all the little wooden railings here to the wood that matches the um, wooden walls, of course, because that makes more sense. Um, and yeah, it's all looking really nice. Um, you can see here, just the difference between this and the way I started out with is much better. Hopefully you agree. Um, if you like the house the way it was before, then I'm, I'm very sorry, but uh, I think this is a definite improvement. Um, yeah, so I'm putting in the wood um, all over the place, just kind of making it look more natural and stuff like that. Um, oh, here we go. I'm changing the color to the light green. So this is the light green I was talking about, which um, I didn't quite like. Um, I liked it at first, but then I changed it to dark green. Um, you know, so I'm just going all over the place now and changing it to light green. The color of this house changes so many times, it's ridiculous, but eventually I got there in the end, so that's what matters. Um, and also the roof, um, again, that changes too, it doesn't stay that um, light green as well. It also goes dark green too. And then this is a pain to do, but I do uh, make all the little um, angular angular wood pieces all like like nice and, and perfect. So, you know, if you have OCD, you know, you can be very pleased with this house, it looks stunning. Um, yeah, so I just go through here and make it all kind of line up and look nice, all the wood. I mean, it's very painstaking, but it looks really nice when it's done. Um, you can see here, just putting all that in, and um, yeah, I spend my time on it, I do. It does take a little bit of time to do, but um, here we go, just putting that all in, um, around all the little corners and stuff, and uh, oh, one more. I think also the lower ones I have to do too. Oh, you know, it's such an annoying thing to do, but it does make such a difference when you do it, you know, when you make the wood angle around and look really nice. So there we go, um, did it there, and also this area here, there's so many roofs on this house is crazy so many places I had to do this on um, yeah so I'm just doing it there as well and um, I also have to do the study roof here we go right now it's two floors but again as I've said so many times it's gonna be one level so you know um, that's something to look out for so there we go um, I did that um, adding in some wooden trim around the roof edge as well um, and yes yeah, so um, what am I doing here I'm gonna add the wood around the balconies as well so it kind of all matches and looks really nice um, which is important um, so yeah, so I think it's looking really nice at this point. Um, that kind of two-story study area looks kind of ridiculous. That's why I make it lower because it looks ridiculous as two floors. It's like a giant block. Um, and oh yeah, here I'm adding the into the future carpet squares. This is going to be putting plants on the roof. No, the whole roof is not covered in plants. It's just certain areas of it are. Um, and even those areas are not covered. They're just kind of like a few nice plants here and there. It's very elegant. Um, if you will. Um, so I put in a few of those, one of there, one there, you know, scatter them around the place. I think it looks really nice. And I also had some heather in. Oh yeah, I love the heather. Um, it looks really nice. You guys have really good ground cover, um, if you know what I mean. So um, what am I doing here? Floor plan. Floor plan, floor plan, floor plan. The floor plan um, is very interesting, um, very unique, um, like the rest of the house, of course. Because if the house is such a unique shape, of course the floor plan will be too. Um, yeah, so the stairs kind of go around this angular bit here. Um, which is very interesting, of course, and yeah, it's kind of like a triangular staircase area, um, which is very interesting, it's functional, um, but it looks kind of cool at the same time. So up here, there's going to be four bedrooms and two bathrooms, I believe. So four bedrooms and two bathrooms up here, and then down on the main level is going to be the master bedroom and bathroom, and also the kitchen, living room, dining room, laundry room, and half bathroom. So plenty of stuff down here, um, and then this is the master suite there. And the study will be um, in the separate little building, of course. So here we go with windows, actually, putting in a bunch of Into the Future glass windows to make it look um, really nice and modern, of course, because um, that's quite essential when you're doing a modern build. Um, and this looks really nice. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. The views, again, through these windows are magnificent. Um, and also, I made this little walkway to the master bedroom um, all glass, not the floor and ceiling, just the walls. So looking back at it, maybe I should have done the floor and ceiling. That would have been kind of cool. Yeah, but um, adding in some smaller windows out the back of the house here, just for the bedrooms. Um, you know, not all the windows need to be all glass. Um, also, the front steps here are coming in. This is where the dock for the um, water skis used to be, um, um, jet skis. You know, but I changed it here. And I like, I love the way the sand kind of looks like it's overtaking the stairs. Um, the, way, the way the stairs kind of look like they're sunken into the sand. That was just a happy accident, and it looks really cool. Um, so you can see here I'm putting in the wooden walls as accent walls inside. And of course, like I said, all the furnishing will be done in the next part, so there's no furnishing in this part. Um, I just finish up the exterior build. And I believe most of the landscaping is in part two as well, so part two is just landscaping and furnishing, so just the finishing touches on the house. Um, anyway, um, lowering the study here, 
um, which is very important, like I said, because it looked ridiculous. So here we go, there's the one level study now, um, which looks quite a lot better. I also add a trellis around it and put plants in, and it just looks so nice. Um, oh, here we go, I'm changing the color of the house now to the darker green. So you can see that's the final, no, that's not the final color, is it? No. I don't know, actually. Um, I don't remember it being that vivid. Uh, no, here we go, I do, I do change it. Yeah, there we go, there's the final color of the house, um, and it looks really nice. Um, cause even though it's dark, it's a dark color, yes, but it kind of makes it blend into nature. Um, you know, and it's, again, it's a very unique, it's a bold color. It's definitely a color that you'd not expect, um, on a house, and it's not a normal color for a house, it's like a dark green. But I think it looks, I just, I love the look of it with the wood. I think the colors go together really nicely. Oh, I am doing some landscaping here, that's a nice, a nice little thing. Yeah, so just some nice little landscaping, of course, my classic style of landscaping. Um, you know, a bunch of plants, a bunch of rocks, and stuff like that, and a bit, I think, I don't use a pathway, no, I don't. I'll leave it sand. Um, yeah, I was gonna put dirt under the plants, but it just glitched out with the blue terrain paint stuff, so I didn't bother with that, um, you know, but it still looks nice, because, I mean, come on, it's an island, it's not we're gonna have dirt, it's gonna be sand. Not that these plants would grow out of water and sand, but whatever. It's The Sims, it needs to look nice. Um, now my favorite part of the landscape must be this corner here of the dining room where I put this rock retaining wall in with the kind of curves around. Oh, I love this part. It looks so cool. You know, like the little rock curving retaining wall. Uh, I think it looks really neat. And I also put, I think I put some plants in it. Yeah, so there you go. I think that looks really nice. Um, and yeah, also I think I put some more rocks in other places. I'm not sure where. We'll get to that, I'm sure. Um, a bunch of bushes as well. So I literally I do do most of the landscaping in this episode. Um, that was not something I expected, so take back what I, I take back what I said earlier. Um, and uh, yeah, so just a bunch of plants and stuff looks very nice, of course, and um, some rocks and bushes. I love those bushes from Supernatural. Oh, here's the rocks. Yeah, I put a bunch of rocks here on the front, um, which oh, this takes this makes it take forever to load as well. But um, it looks really nice. Um, so once you come into the lot, it is really nice to look at. Um, yeah, so just adding in some bushes and stuff. And if you enjoyed this video, please check out part two, because um, that would mean a lot to me, um, of course. And, um, you know, you can check out my channel as well and subscribe um, as part one is coming to an end. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this. Um, and, of course, like I said before, you can check out my channel. Um, I make a bunch of videos like this. Um, I make Let's Play Sims 4 cast videos, um, Let's Build a House videos, and Let's... Re um, I'm sorry, not Let's. Um, house building videos, remodeling videos, stuff like that. So, you know, a bunch of stuff like that, um, and, you know, so, uh, you know, come join in. It's nice and fun. Um, yeah, so anyway, um, please check out part two of this as we're nearing the end very shortly. Um, just adding in some nice wood around the balcony to the lower level. And, um, like I've said many times before, part two is furnishing, so if you enjoy furnishing, that's definitely something you want to check out. Um, yeah, so just finishing up all the balconies, um, glitching out, which is annoying. <laughs> that was really annoying the way it was glitching like that. Yeah, so, anyway, um, yeah, just editing that. Yeah, I don't know what was going on with that, but anyway, it's the end of the video, so I hope you enjoyed, and, um, so yeah, so part, part, part two will be coming out very shortly after this, um, and by the time you're watching this, it probably is out, so, you know, um, there'll be an annotation at the end of this video, so you can click to it, and there'll also be a link in the description as well, um, so, you know, that's always, always important, um, yeah, anyway, the roof got all messed up there, and... And, and yes, so, so, um, I hope you enjoyed this, and, um, the playback video I'm watching is lagging out, which is really annoying, but anyway, just touching everything up, and I did my outro quite, quite prematurely, so I do apologize for that, but, um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and, um, and yes, so, um, yeah, um, yeah, more landscaping, oh my god, this is ridiculous, I'm so pathetic, I did that outro way too early, anyway, it, it's over now, okay, I'll see you next time, thank you for watching,